The hue and saturation effect can be found under the color correction category, and this allows us to modify the colors of whatever we apply it to very precisely. By default, we are working on the master channel control, but we're able to change this to a variety of options. But let's just start with master and go down to this slider right here, master hue. If I click and drag this radial control, we're just going to shift the color hues of every pixel around the color wheel, which we can see a preview of down here. So this is the standard true colors, and this is how we just shifted it. So reds are now green, greens are now more blue. It is purely just a hue shift of every single pixel in the layer. I'll reset that, and the next control is the master saturation. If I decrease this, we're gonna take all of that color information out, and we're gonna be left with a grayscale image, or we could boost this and increase the saturation a lot further. And if it doesn't really make a lot of sense what saturation is, let's just take a look at, say, a color picker right here. So this is just the text color because it's convenient. In this color picker, we have a variety of view options right here, and you may not even have known this. But by default, we're set to a hue scale, which is right here. This looks just like this, right? So I change the hue, and the hue of my palette changes. But the next one is S for saturation. So now this slider, instead of controlling the hue, is adjusting the saturation. So I could choose any hue over here and then increase or decrease the saturation. You do the same thing for B, which stands for brightness. So you choose the color that you want and then you control how bright or dark that color is. It's very useful to have those individual controls, but that is what saturation is over here. It is taking color out or putting more color in to whatever hue and brightness value you have selected. So that's saturation. Next, we have the master lightness, and this is exactly the same as that brightness slider that we just looked at in this color picker. So it's just increasing or decreasing the brightness value of every pixel. Let's reset all of that and then look at this checkbox right here, colorize. If I click on that, we're basically tinting the image, just like the tint effect. But instead of using a color picker, we're going to use this colorize hue, where we're just shifting around the color that we want to tint. And again, we can see the preview up here of what that color is. We can increase the saturation or decrease it, and we can control the lightness. These three controls are exactly the same as these three. It's just that instead of modifying the existing pixels uniformly, we're applying this color cast over the whole thing. All right, let's reset this again and then take a look at the channel control. We've been using the master control this whole time, but we could change this to a color range. Let's say the yellows, because these oranges, they kind of live in the yellows. And watch what happens when I turn the saturation down. We're only desaturating or increasing the saturation of that yellow range. And up here in our channel range, we can see what colors are actually being adjusted. So if I take that all the way out, you can see our little preview range right here is getting desaturated. But if I grab, say, this rectangle right here, I can shift the range around, and the triangle is basically a fade in to the next section of the range. So this is a hard stop. Everything to the right of this is going to be completely desaturated, and everything between this and here is going to just gradually fade back into its original colors. So making that slight adjustment, I'm now targeting just the oranges, and let's say I wanted to make them purple. Now that that range is selected, I can just shift this around the color wheel until I get to purple. And now my oranges are purple. That might be a little too saturated, so I'll just turn down the saturation a little bit. If we do a before and after, you can see just how well that worked. Now, if you noticed, these two leaves right here are also being adjusted, and that's because my range is set to get some of that green as well. So I'm gonna bring this one over to the left, and that's clearing it up a bit, and I'm gonna also move this one over to the left, and now those little leaves are not being affected by this hue and saturation effect. So you can use these channel controls as a starting point and then freely edit them to be whatever range you want. But that is the hue and saturation effect in a nutshell. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then check out the other ones here on my YouTube channel. And if you like my teaching style, then definitely check out my longer form content on Skillshare and School of Motion. And if you want to support more tutorials like this one, check out my Patreon. You can find links for all of that stuff in the description of this video.